Okay, so let me tell you the story about my little superstar, D'Angelo. I received a text message from the officers at the 113 with a picture of my superstar, D'Angelo, with his head actually in a bowl, looking as depressed as could be. Uh, We immediately sent one of our volunteers over to pick him up. She happened to have been 20 minutes away, and she met me at Grady Animal Hospital, where I was able to comfort him for the first couple of hours that we had him. A little superstar, right? Okay, bud. So he ended up staying at Grady Animal Hospital for the next two days, and then I had the chance to take him home with me, where I realized how bad he really was. He couldn't lift his head, he couldn't walk, he had no energy. So I just continued to feed him through the night and uh, fed him every couple of hours, and then the next morning he stopped eating. So we had to rush him back to Grady Animal Hospital, where he received fluids for the day. And then I was able to take him back where he stood up for the first time and actually sat down and looked at me like I'm like to be proud of him. Good boy. Okay, now you want to sit? Good boy. There you go, bud. After coming back from Grady Animal Hospital, I continued to feed him every couple of hours. And as you can see, he was getting stronger and stronger. He actually started playing with the puppies, getting stronger and stronger, and then... I finally introduced him to my pack. As you can see, he met some of the pack here. Big, beautiful eyes. This is when I brought him into the office to meet everyone for the first time. This is his first trip into the office. And here's where you could see he's actually putting on some pounds now. It was a dr- like a dramatic difference. One day, all of a sudden, he was just had the pounds packed on. It almost it almost seemed like it was overnight, but it wasn't. But as you can tell, his head's getting rounder and rounder, and here he is getting fatter and fatter and fatter. Tongue always hanging out. And then the quailies. So these are the quailies. There are one of our major supporters and they actually drove in from Missouri uh, to bring him back to Missouri. And he's gonna and he's gonna put on he's about seventy now. He's probably gonna put on about another seventy you ten pounds. Yeah. Pap got so huge. Oh Pap, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, I used to be able to hold him. <laughs> Oh, you oh, can still hold him. <laughs> You're so big. Uh, you want to take him for a walk? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Craig, look at him. Oh, <laughs> look, the last time I saw, last time I saw Craig, look Dante, 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 Dante was so skinny. Yeah. He don't even care. Look at him fighting me. Oh, he was so skinny last time I saw him. He it. was half the size. And this was one. he really? Oh, you guys were here three months ago, right? Hey. No, yeah. it, was, it was like six. Uh, six months ago. Oh, wow. You are a big guy. You're big. You're a big boy. you big boy. you big boy. you big boy. you big boy. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. You got your rails, aren't you? I can tell. Bully Crew, we drove up here in the RV and 1200 we, miles. 1200 miles, 22 hours, the last three around New York City, or in New York City actually. And uh, we are we have gone out and we have walked D'Angelo and we're so happy to take D'Angelo back to St. Louis and he's gonna become a Cardinal fan. And he has been <laughs> integrated with Miss Piggy and it's gonna be a process, but we're we're up to it. And I'll tell you this, this is a great organization. It takes wonderful care of dogs as if they were their own until they become our own. We're just we're just blessed to be able to be a part of it. Okay, so 
so here's D'Angelo in his new happy home with Miss Piggy, with Daisy, John, and Nestle. And this is the only time we've ever gotten all four of these dogs together except for when Kathy takes them on their walks. They love going on their walks. Um, and we're, we're, we're just very uh, blessed to have them all together. And we love D'Angelo. D'Angelo's brought a calming sense to the group. And uh, we, got our, we got our New York Bully Crew swag on here. Got my hat. Got my sweatshirt. You can't see that. But we are uh, we're thankful for the Bully Crew and all they do. We'll continue to support you. And uh, let's keep these dogs alive. And Craig, thank you for saving his life. And thank you for making him meaty and fat and healthy. And he is a great boy. Lots of pack walks. Lots of controlled energy situations. And... It's been great. It's been great. He's better. Like John said, he's brought a nice sense of calm to our house, and he is just a love. He is just a great boy. Thank you, Bully Crew. Onward and upward. I got to meet D'Angelo when I came home from school um, for Thanksgiving, and he has just been a great addition to our family. He's actually really helping Miss Piggy out with her anxiety. I've noticed her being extremely confident around him and other people when he's there. He's just been such a great little boy, and I love him so much. Best snuggler in the world. Here they come down the walkway. Home sweet home for D'Angelo with Nestle and Piggy and Daisy and Kathy. Home sweet home. Hey, Big D. We are so happy that this family decided to take him. He's living the life that he has always deserved from the beginning. They love him dearly. He has three first sisters, uh, and he is just thriving unbelievably in their home. Oh, 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 oh.